Okay, here we go. Uh, I was wrong. It actually was nominated for Best Writing Original Screenplay at the Academy Awards in 2016. So it was nominated, which is still a big deal. Yeah. Um, I, I, I thought that um, some of the actors should have got nominated personally. Um, I personally think um, the one, I can't, I forget his name, but Jason, who played Easy E, should have got a nomination. I yeah. thought Ice Cube's son should have got a nomination. I just think, I'm like, yo, this, this first time out, man, and he didn't get it easy. His father made him work for it. And he did an awesome job, you know? So, eh, you know, whatever. It's still, you know, like one of the best top hip hop, you know, film about music film, in my judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then the next year, you end up playing Suge Knight again yeah. in Michelle A's Surviving Compton biopic. Yes, sir. Which from my understanding was actually based on my interview with Michelle A. Yeah, okay. Yeah, wow. that's what I heard. Yeah, if you look at my interview, essentially it's almost damn near scene for scene the way that that biopic came together. That's with, crazy. Which I think is, which I think is dope. You know, yeah, I love dope. when, no, when it, yeah. interviews turn into bigger projects. Yeah. So now you're Suge Knight again. Yeah. That's a. Uh. Okay. And 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 let me just say this: I'm sure this time around, Dre was not a fan of you oh, being oh, in this no, particular, I'm, this is what particular I'm gonna, film. This is what um, I'm gonna say. Um. First, after um, the 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 film came out, they were I think they were doing uh, auditioning for Suge in um, the Tupac film, and uh, one of them from production call, called me and asked me if I wanted to be Suge. I I, I just said no. It, it'd be it wouldn't be right. And when I did when I did that, um, one of the producers from Strata Compton was like, "Yo, thank you. Please don't do that movie. Please don't do that movie. I don't want you to do it." So I didn't do it. I felt loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Um, then, you know, I, I'm doing I'm doing Luke Cage. I'm doing other things, and. Um, I, I get an offer to do um, Misha Lay's story, Surviving Compton. Um, first, it was like, it was a really big payday. It's like triple the amount I got on Straight Outta Compton. It was triple the amount, triple for a lifetime film with a, you know, a limited budget. That was like one of my, one of my biggest paydays. So, I was like, I, at the time I was at my, my old manager, uh, we talked about it. I, I was like, should I do it? Wouldn't it be foul if I did it. He was like, they don't care about you, man. It's done now. You need to make your money. Yo, they offering you three times as much. Come on, man. And it's like, all right, bet. I'm going to meet the, with the produ one of the producers from Straight Outta Compton. So he met. He met my, my former manager, met up with the, one of the producers and they had, a, they had a meeting. And from what I heard, what, what um, he told me that uh, we don't want him, Dr. Dre does not want him to do this movie. You can't do the movie. So my manager at the time said, well, pay him, pay him not to do it. Mm. I mean, I, I'm I thought that I'm like, I would have done that, you know, but he, he like apparently screamed and said, no, I'm not doing that. He's like, all right, he's doing, he's going to do it. And that was that. That was that. That was that. That was that. And that was actually a good project. I, I like the way he came together. Yeah. You know, obviously it was very tilted on Michelle A's point of view, but it's her biopic. So you yeah, know, yeah. she could I mean, say what she wants to say. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah. It, my experience on that set was not, was not like um, Strata Compton. Strata Compton was a family set. Like everybody, you know, I mean, they had soul food every day. I was in heaven, you know what I'm saying? And I got along with like all, all the guys that were supposed to be my entourage. They were all, you know, bloods, like legit OG bloods. 
And, yo, they embraced me. And I, you know, first, you know, you think like, I don't know these people, these pop going and jack me or something. But no, nah, they embraced me like a brother and I still talk to them to this day. And Bone was a mentor to me. I mean, that guy, you know, as tough as they come. So I felt good, but um, the Michelle A surviving Compton film, there was a lot of miscommunication. Um, I'll say that I'm thankful for the producers and, and, and the director and the actors, um, but there was miscommunication. And then there was a, there was a time where I went, I went to the set for one scene. It was a courtroom scene. And I wanted to sit in the back area away from people. And one of the cameraman's sons who worked for, you know, worked, worked there, he said, you can't go in there. And I was like, why? It's like, you just can't. I mean, meaning like I, I was there the other day and nobody said it was like restricted. So I didn't understand that. And now mind you, when I do Suge, I'm method. I'm method. So I was like, look, ma, just tell, tell, tell production that I'll like, if you need me, I'll be right here. I just need time to myself. So I'm like, just tell them that. And I started to go to the door. Then this kid, <laughs> he grabbed me. He, he grabbed my arm. Now, not even me being shook. In another life or another time, I would have dropped him. You don't, and he grabbed, like literally trying to be forceful. And to me, he was like, you're insane. This guy's, I can't believe he, he actually just did that. And I'm being shook. So, but I was like, don't do nothing. Just talk to him. So I turned around and got in his, in, in his face, forehead to forehead. I was like, are you fucking crazy? You ever touch me, you're done, period. And his father saw that and called the cops on me. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, then, uh, you know, that, that was a big thing, you know, and he told, the, the, the kid told people that I headbutted him. No, nah, I got in his head, forehead. It wasn't no headbutt. I got in his forehead, forehead to forehead. That was it. Um, then uh, cops come and uh, they asked me what happened. I told them, oh, you're good. You can go. That was it. But that started something. That, that kind of started something. I mean, you know, I, 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 I do feel bad about doing one thing. I, there, was a, there was a part where in between takes, I was still method. And I assumed that the lead actress, because she does, she's in, she was in, she was doing the voice on set, you know, and I, um, like, I, I, gra I, like, I grabbed her arm and I took her to the other room with me. And she didn't like that when I, I'm like, yo, what did, what did I do? And I felt really bad for doing that. I was in the moment, I guess. You know, no excuse. I apologized to her. Then she gave me a talking to. Like she wasn't afraid of me at all. Like she's just like, yo, this you got you gotta change some things, man. Like you already, you know, messing with the kid. And I was like, I didn't do nothing to that kid. Why would he lie? I don't know why he lied, but I didn't do nothing to that kid. I talked, I, I yelled at him, that's it. But then she was telling me other things, what I should do when these situations come about how to handle it. And I listened and she had more experience than I did. So I apologize. Things were cool. Then all of a sudden people were saying that I wrote emails to people threatening, threatening them, you know? And I'm, I'm like, what is this? I, what, what is going on here? You know? So I'm, I'm still being shook. Um, and then I get a call from the head of Sony. 
And Sony said, we're sending like the head security person there to, to just talk to you about some things. And, and then um, we, he came the next, the next day. He flew in the next day and we had a conversation. I'll, and I told him everything that's been happening. Okay. He said, personally, he didn't do nothing really. Maybe you shouldn't have grabbed the girl like that, but you thought it was, you know, you guys were maybe feeding off each other, still acting. He said, you should apologize. Okay. I was like, I'll apologize. I'll, I'll talk to them. And, and I'm like too much should, you know, for this particular production too. It was too much, too much shook. But I, at the time, I felt that the only way to be really good was to do the method. Method act, that was the only way. Um, so everybody was cool after I apologized. And, you know, I would hear like people was like, yeah, I was really scared of you. For what? I'm like, I'm that intimidating to you guys? You guys really feel shook, all of you? I just thought that was very weird, you know? And I've experienced that many times, you know what I'm saying? But by the end of the production, I, I was told I did a great job. People were patting me on the back, said, dude, you're so nice. I didn't know you were this nice. And I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you think I'm nice, because I try to be. Um, it, it just, it, it put a bad taste in my mouth. And I think that kind of hurt me. That situation kind of hurt me really with, with, with maybe some casting directors or something. I don't know. My, my agent says like, oh, people don't, people will forget that type of stuff. But, you know, what can you do?